Wow, well, a lot of people felt like he was going to go be a professional kickboxer. There's more money in the UFC, <laughs> though. That's why he's here. We'll see if he can kick somebody's head off here today. I mean, he's going to look for it. You know, we have seen great kickboxers come into the sport before. We have not seen many that come with the background, with the tradition and the history that this man has in kickboxing. He is so sure that if it's a stand-up fight in the UFC, he beats anyone. And I'm talking anyone, the best in the world, he thinks he beats them. He's gonna have to show that he can stay upright because this ain't kickbox, this is mixed martial arts. You gotta make sure you defend those legs or you end up spending 15 minutes laying on your back. That's right, we did have some fun in our fighter meeting. He said, would you guys prefer a, a knockout with a kick or a punch? We said, <laughs> hey man, I mean, we wanna see you throw those feet. So we'll see if he can get the knockout here tonight in what is a very interesting stylistic matchup. So Israel Adesanya obviously was mashing through the middleweight division until his rival Alex Pereira showed up. But as he gets back on the proven ground here tonight, DC, most people believe on any given Saturday night, this is still the best middleweight in the world. Well, he's proven it time and time again. He has been the man for so long, it would seem hard for him not to operate in that space. But because he believes in himself, because he recognizes who he is, he takes wins and losses as good as anyone I've ever seen. But when it comes down to the X's and the O's, the guy in his fight ability, Israel Adesanya is as good as they come. A phenomenal kickboxer in much improved wrestling that allows for him to stay upright and make guys fight him where he needs him to. Really seems as though he is getting closer to that mixed martial arts prime, to your point, in terms of putting all the skills together. Israel Adesanya, the last style bender, back in the octagon here tonight. the take for this heavyweight fight to get us started with the official introductions here is bruce buffer ladies and gentlemen this is the main event of the evening <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight world champion, Mauricio Shogun. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Israel the last style bender, Adesanya! Herbert Dean's in the building. Ready. He's the third man in the octagon Ready. tonight. Go. All right, so here we go with this stand-up only encounter. We'll see if these guys can play by the rules. Not many rules, but you can't grapple at all. No wrestling of any kind. You also are not permitted to do follow-up strikes on the floor. We are underway. I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury! It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. Big power shot there. Nice jab by Adesanya. Oh, man. Well, one got through. That kick was good. Able to land with the lead uppercut there. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Sweet punch. 
Yozman's another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six, four different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. Gets back up, but barely. Look how lovely he is. Under two minutes now to go in the round. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side, underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Under a minute to go. Straight right hand, no good. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Oh, nice. Final seconds here. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. So the horn sounds after that round. Big knockdown in that frame. Great round from Hua. Everything that you can read is mine. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. All right, both fighters now ready to go with round ready two. Fight. Israel Adesanya ready. and Mauricio Shogun. Well, we told you about that hook. There it is. Adesanya gets tattooed by a solid uppercut there. Can't take too many more of those. Somehow, his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, my goodness, what a kick! Nice defense there, huge block. Leg kick is true. Well, Hua's got a nasty bruise starting to appear on that left side. We'll keep an eye on it. Could pay dividends later. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Adesanya gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. So we call on the fight stats here on officially 49 total strikes have already landed for Shogun Hua. Just below 50%, by the way, 49% the accuracy rate on the strike attempts against Israel Adesanya. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Who is pretty full. Oh. Just over two minutes now to go. This is again with a right punch. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Nice jab by Izzy. That's one way to upset the equilibrium. Nice high kick. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time 
getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Signs of bruising now on that left side. This fight's going to be over this. What a great way of... What a fight. Right now we go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 34 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout, Mauricio Shogun Hua. So he adds to the legend tonight. Cody Chiba Brazil's Mauricio Shogun Hua is your winner. And this was exactly the type of performance he was looking for coming in. A lot of questions were answered tonight. Good to see Shogun healthy. And still producing at the highest level of the game.